Now then YouTube, hope you're all well. This is just a very quick video to clarify the go details. Obviously I was slightly, uh, oh, I was very tired and talking a bit of gobbledygook. So just to confirm that, there's one question which is, What is your guilty pleasure? For details on that, see the video. So, if you're a presenter, the VR will be, what is your guilty pleasure? If you're um, not a presenter, just put it in the comments. And also, I'd like you to nominate somebody else and it's for a good cause as well, because along with the prize, if you let me know, you can either do it on the video or afterwards, what your chosen charity is, I'll make a donation to the chosen charity. Again, there's more details on that on the other video. And finally, if you do a video, if you do a VR, if you just put it in the comments, that you're going to do one or that you have done one I'll keep an eye out for it so to clear that up that's that sorry <laughs> now um, you all know I've been doing a few pipe jobs for Bob and One of the jobs was to repair his Blake Marbriars. I did that quite a while ago. And the second job was to turn this Peterson 80S uh, Halloween Special 2022 into a bent church warden. So, I have to admit... Um, I was a bit dubious about it, putting the army mount on, but I'm quite happy with how it's all turned out, and that's what we are left with. lovely bent church warden 200 mil long for Mr Trucking Piper himself so that's that all sorted now he's got another little job for me but we'll sort that out very shortly the main thing is now um, either I can pop up with these pipes, he can pop down here, or we can get them sent to him, but either way, they're all finished. I'm assuming, Bob, he wanted non-filter. I hope he did, because it's got a big job now. Um, the previous was non-filtered, and I know he only smokes Virginias in a filtered pipe. So... And it should smoke cool anyway because it's a church warden. So, yeah. Other business. Final thing. This hat. Now, I had a question a while ago. Somebody wanted to know what this hat was and where you could get it from. And it left me my... I was going to write a nice message. But... I didn't, I just said I'd be in touch and then I forgot who it was because my head is a shed. So if you are watching, the flat cap's gone. I thought I'd try a flat cap because this one, the peak's all broken up. That's why it looks wonky. And the liner is all bust. So I thought I'd treat myself to a new hat. They don't sell these like this anymore, so I um, 
thought I'd just get a flat cap. But I decided it's not for me. So the old deer stoker's back on. And that's that. So as for the information on the hat, it is a deer stoker. If you type in deer stoker, you'll get two types. A hat like this. And you'll get one what's like a baseball cap with a baseball cap peak at the front and the back. Um, this is like a bucket. I prefer the ones with the splits in so they fold in half. They don't all do that. I think this peak is better to be honest. The back peak is out of less time, yeah. And then of course, you can't have a hat like this with no badges. There's two badges on it. One is a little silver spigot pipe. And the other is, of course, the Pipe Club of London 50th Anniversary Badge. Which we wear with pride. So that's all. It's already a lot longer this video than it was going to be on a rattle pan. So, until next time guys, keep it lit.